So let's talk about how Donald Trump took a huge dump on the negotiations between the White House and the Senate regarding Ukraine war funding and new rules for immigrants seeking asylum. I'm Arturo, and I'm a reporter for Capitol Press. As you know, we at Capitol Press have been covering these negotiations in depth for the last couple of months, and we've broken some news on, on the deal. However, now, even though the deal wasn't nowhere near being finalized, it seems to be on even sketchier ground since Donald Trump was apparently talking to Laura Ingraham, and she did an interview with House Speaker Mike Johnson telling him how Donald Trump opposes the deal. The thing about it is that what Republicans want in the Senate isn't funding for the border because that's already in there with the Ukraine war funding in the National Security Supplemental Package as part of the budget. But they're trying to pass rules that Donald Trump said he would implement once he returned to office. And some of those rules return back to Trump era policies. For example, they're trying to put in a permanent Title 42 type of law. Why Donald Trump opposes this is anyone's guess. But, I mean, when you look at it, it's obvious he just doesn't want to give Joe Biden the win on immigration in any respect. Why the White House is trying to tie border funding with Ukraine and Israel funding is anyone's guess as well. But the only reason Donald Trump would be opposed to the rules Republicans want and the negotiations in the House and the Senate with the White House over immigration has got to be because he doesn't want Joe Biden to be the one to implement the policies that he wants to implement. I know it seems like a stretch, but why else would Donald Trump just take a huge dump on policies he wants to put in place?